Hey everybody, welcome to Veganuary Day 15 and welcome back to my vegan kitchen. Hi, I'm Janet. Maddie's filming. All right, Hello. just so you guys know, because I didn't realize that you didn't actually know what our names were, so now I try and do that every so often. Today we have a recipe that has been requested for lemon bars. Everybody knows that lemon bars are delicious, but unfortunately they're also full of uh, sugar fat, eggs. They're not that good for you, but I'm going to make a vegan healthier version today. I racked my brain trying to do this. So fingers crossed, let's hope that it turns out all right. So let's start with the crust. The crust is basically a shortbread pastry type crust. So we're going to do this in our mixer. You don't need a mixer to do it. You can totally do it. Uh, cut it in with like a fork or two knives or whatever. So the dry ingredients are flour, sugar. I'm using coconut sugar. You can use cane sugar if you want. And I have a little Himalayan sea salt hiding under there. Don't worry about the amounts. They will be in the bottom bar as always. So I've got all of the dry ingredients in there and uh, now I'm going to take it over to the mixer and we are going to add in our wet ingredients or wetter ingredients. So this is vegan butter. <laughs> it looks kind of weird because I didn't want to smush it all up and it looks like more than the half a cup that it is because when you melt this down, this is like the one in the tub, when you melt it down you're going to lose a lot of that air because this is whipped and it's going to shrink down to half a cup. I couldn't really switch around the shortbread part that much because you really need fat in the shortbread part. So the other part will be healthier though. So we're going to add just a little bit at a time. Let's lock it and load it. Because we want this to end up to be crumbly before we add the final bit of liquid. So you just want to add a few pats at a time. Don't just plop the whole thing in there. This might actually work even a little bit better with the whip attachment, but I was too lazy to dig it out of the drawer, as usual. We'll just give that a minute to do its thing. Make sure your um, vegan butter, if it's in the bar, you know, like the sticks, is soft but not liquid <laughs> because you don't want it to be liquid at all because that's just going to make it really oily. All right, so this says a half a cup of milk. We'll see what happens. We might need more. We might need less. But don't, again, don't just dump the whole thing in there a little bit at a time. see it's starting to come together. You don't want it to be uh, very liquidy. You want, like that's probably exactly what we want. We didn't use that much, so don't dump it all in at once. I'm gonna drink that later. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me just uh, do this just a little bit more so it all pulls away from the sides. It's all clean. All right, so we're going to take this and I have my baking dish over here that I've already sprayed with a little bit of uh, cooking spray. If you don't want to use cooking spray, you can put a piece of parchment under there, under there. This one's in a regular size, so it would have been difficult to use the parchment. But I'm going to scrape this out and press it into the bottom. This is probably even a little bit too wet, but at least we didn't put all the milk in. <laughs> Make sure it's kind of like even, like there's no like Rocky Mountains in there. You could even come up the sides a little bit if you want. I guess that's probably as good as it gets. So we're going to pop this into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes and then we're going to make the filling while that's baking. All right, we're ready to make the filling now. So <laughs> I just realized where every single cut on my hands are <laughs> from reaming out these lemons. And I couldn't find my um, zinger free uh, squeeze, the press, so that's why I had to use the reamer. And boy, you really do find out where every cut is. Perfect dish for winter. Lemons. All right, so <laughs> we also had a little mishap with this banana. 
If you try and use a banana that's not ripe, the skin will fight you and not want to come off. We could not rip it off anywhere, so. Sorry. You can just wait there <laughs> for a day or three. So we're going to do this in the blender first, except for the zest, because we want there to be little pieces of zest in there, because that is nice. So there's the frozen banana. It looks a little rough, but it's going to be okay. It's old, but give it a warm welcome. We've also got some non-dairy milk in there. We've got our sugar, arrowroot, and Himalayan sea salt in here. Let's see if I can get in here without dumping it. Nope, I dumped it. <laughs> That's okay. That's just a guarantee that it's going to be Arrowroot has a mind awesome. of its own. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It goes all over the place. Look at that. Okay, now we're going to need our star of the show, the lemon juice which I very painstakingly, um, oh no, <laughs> which I very painstakingly juiced. Oh you did no, a we, great job. Thank you. We don't want these seeds in here, so let's just scoop those out. Even though the blender would crush it up, it would probably make it bitter, so it's better to just leave the seeds out. And final ingredient besides the zest is a pinch of turmeric. This is usually made with eggs. So the yolk gives it a yellowish color. So this turmeric is not really going to add a bunch of flavor, but it will give the yellow color to mimic eggs. We're gonna blend this now. And it's gonna be loud. We'll just put it on smoothie. I also just realized since I used uh, healthier sugar, it's not going to be lemony yellow. It's going to be dirty brown. No! <laughs> so then, you know, what would you rather have? A, a beautiful... Your health? Yeah, your health <laughs> or a moment on the lips of a beautiful lemon tart. Come on. It's a no-brainer, right? So we're going to put this in the pan. <laughs> we're also going to add the zest at this point. If I don't dump it on the floor first. <laughs> that, by the way, also, I wish they made knuckle guards on the uh, <laughs> microplaner. That'd be nice. What? So we're going to um, put this on a lowish to medium heat and bring it up to the simmer until it starts to get thick. All right, so you guys can see that it's quite thick now. It's ready to be poured on the top. This just came out of the oven after being there for 20 minutes. Oh. So we're going to pour this on evenly. That smells so good. It, I just took a little sneak taste and it's very lemony good. So I'm just going to get all of this out. Alright, so it's not yellow. <laughs> Who cares? Right? People will be surprised when they taste it then. So it you, they'll like think lemon. they're eating like a caramel thing. Right. But and it's then they'll be lemon. Like, Whoa, lemon. I got tricked. So fresh. So you just spread it out. This is going to go back in the oven at the same 350 for another 10 minutes. All right, guys, these are them. Woo! Ugly, but delicious. They were delicious. They really were delicious. Don't be fooled by the poo-poo brown. <laughs> it really tastes like lemon. It's the, if you don't want it to be poo-poo brown like ours, don't use the brown sugar. Just use uh, white cane sugar. I, the poo-poo brown doesn't bother me. No, me neither. it tastes really good. I would highly recommend these for like a treat, like a Sunday treat. I wouldn't eat them all the time because there's a lot of butter in the crust and the sugar. Yeah, there's not that much sugar when you think about it. Also, another tip that Maddie would like to give is... <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> make sure that um, it sets up for a few hours or overnight. Uh, it'll be a lot firmer. These are kind of like loosey-goosey because we just made them before. And uh, these were a little bit thin because I used a bigger pan. You should probably use but like a nine by nine or an eight by eight and then they'll be a little bit thicker. But I thought they were great. Me too. So I hope you give them a shot. Nick, Randy, and Pearl. Well, not Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Uh, th these are for you. So thumbs up if you like the video you know the drill already subscribe for more hit the notifications bell you'll know all and until next time much love